Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this color pack efficiently. So, upon opening, you will see a content browser will be open by default. As you can find in here somehow if you closed it, and then you will find the edit text and images. This is the only the placeholders for all of these 20 color packs, and this is the final comms where all the call out composition will be. Okay, so you can just open that and double click on any of this call out to open that particular call out or you can just open from this content browser which will be easier and the last thing is assets you, need, you don't need to do anything in here the first thing you need to do is to create a new blank composition okay name it whatever you want i'm just gonna name it as test and the resolution the color resolutions are up to 4k so and this is all 16 is to 9 okay so you can choose your resolution but the ratio must be 16 is to 9 so i'm just going to use a 1920 and 1080p which is a standard hd and as you can see the ratio is 16 is to 9 okay and i think i have to set the duration a bit shorter it's three minute so i'm gonna go for 15 seconds that's it okay, so I have a 15 seconds composition here now I need to drop my footages here you can just right click in here and import file like that All right let's videos drag and drop this video here I'm gonna show the example in this video now let's choose what callout I'm gonna use in this footage let's take this one I'm going to use this callout in this footage so to do that right click in this thumbnail here and click in this reveal layer source in project which will reveal the layer actually in this project window and then go to this your composition and just drag and drop on top of the footage okay that's it now as you can see this is 4k it will take the entire scene so what you need to do this is important uh, right click transform as you can see fit to comb or you can press ctrl alt f which is like that ctrl alt f and that will fit your call out into the composition okay so now this is a 1920 composition with a 1920 call out now the next step is you need to copy this video and open this call out composition and just paste it in here okay and just drag this in this empty space at the below once it placed like that you need to make sure you need to fit to comp with this video also so right click in this video and go to transform fit to comp or control alt f now we need to track the footage to attach with this callout so to do that put your cursor to the beginning of the footage all right and just go to windows and tracker Okay, just click in here the tracker window will open and make sure you are in the full resolution okay and then double click on this footage there okay, which will open this new window where you can track your footage now click in this track motion okay you will see a point will come in this center and make sure this only position is selected don't need to select rotation or scale all right good now just find a good position to track i think this will do after you place your tracker point to a perfect area just press this play button and that will track your footage okay that's it as you can see the track is perfectly done here okay, after the tracking done I'm clicking this edit target and here is the important part only select this move dots here okay what is this move dots let me show you mm, okay as you can see here this is the move dot okay so in each of this call out we have five move dots let me turn on that you can see here okay 
so for each callout you can connect with five points with one callout okay so now i'm going to use only one so that will be the move dot one and this is the move dot two three four five okay so let's go to my tracker footage here and select the footage edit target and i'm going to select this move dot one don't select any other layer the animation will be messed up so select this one move dot one hit ok and click on this apply button and x and y hit ok okay once you're done you will see the tracker move dot will be attached perfectly in the position okay now we only need to adjust this move text layer okay the move text layer will control the entire color body okay so let's see uh, I'm gonna take this over here you can also scale them down by just um, going any of this corner and just uh, click and hold shift on your keyboard and you can just scale them down or you can go here press S on your keyboard and you can control it from here ok I'm gonna scale this down a bit more from here that's it ok you can also animate this one let's go to front frame here uh, give a keyframe in this position here few frames later it's gonna go down not too much that will be fine ok ok as you can see it is perfectly tracked to animate out this callout just you just need to click in this animate out layer and press U on your keyboard and you will find a bunch of keyframes here uh, let's say you want to animate out in five and a half seconds here so just track all of them at once like that and the animation will be happen at this end now as you can see the footage is also glitching out which is not a problem because you're not going to use the footage in this composition so once you're done just delete the footage okay make sure to delete the footage this is also important and go back to your previous composition and everything should be updated here now as you can see this perfectly tracked and it will also animate out at the exact point you want if you don't want the animation so, um, so you can just slide this keyframes further away or you can just uh, turn off this animate out layer that will also do now let's see if I want to add one more call out in this same footage so how I will do that also I will show you how to offset the callout timing ok what that means let's suppose the first callout is start at the beginning but I want another callout to be appear after 2 seconds ok so how do I do that so let's see how to do that let's choose another callout here ok this one will be perfect this one a bit different as you can see if I go inside here it has a move text which is controlling the body and the move dot which is controlling the dot and also there is a joint okay. so nothing special you just have a extra joint layer which is controlling this joint so let's bring this in so right click reveal source in project call up to style 3 come back to your composition and drag and drop on top of your footage also control all F or right click transform fit to comp ok copy the footage again go inside the call out paste the footage drop the footage underneath everything control alt F for full screen now I want the call out to be appear after 2 seconds just place your marker in 2 seconds here as you can see indicate here and just select this and just trim this to exact this point and you just stretch your timeline to see a little bit better and just trim this to this exact point ok now just bring this cursor to the front and again zoom it and just place it exactly here so the, the video is starting from 2 seconds here so after set it like that double click on this 
footage make sure you are in the full resolution double click on here and let's track again again you can find this tracker from windows tracker okay track motion and let's find a beautiful spot i think that will be fine it's gonna increase the search area a track media a bit okay let's track forward okay tracking is done so the same thing click on edit target come over here move dot to okay apply x and y so as you can see the tracking is attached to this point let's position it in a perfect way make it quarter for a moment let's move this body over here let's scale this down a bit not too much Okay, move the joint. Let's see. Up here. Yes, that will be okay. I think I need to scale this down a bit. That's fine. Let's animate this a bit. Select this move text and hit P. Select keyframe. Slide this to the beginning. And also do this for the joint too. Hit P. Select keyframe. Move this to the beginning. Let's just drag this down or oh, just slide this there and select the joint like that. Okay. Now just select both of them and set this to the end of the video. Looking great. Now let's see how to use multiple lines for the same callout. So to do that just click in this control layer and just as you can see there is five lines for the for one callout. For this tutorial purpose, I'm just gonna use only two lines for the callout. So I'm just gonna turn on this pointer two. Okay. Now you have to again track another location and attach with this one. Okay. Okay. Now here is the thing. Once you tracked your footage, as you can see, just select this footage here and hit U on your keyboard, and you will see your tracker point will have multiple keyframes. So before track again, you need to delete this tracker. Okay, now you can ready to track again. Let's track it. Okay, once the tracking is done, click on this edit target and this time select this move dot two. Hit OK, apply X and Y. Now you can see this dot two is connected also. Okay, now I need some adjustments. Here, yeah, as you can see, these dots are pretty large, so I need to scale this dot scale. As you can see, there is three dot scale here. One is for this one, one is for this one, the center one, and the number three is for the edge ones. Okay, so I need to scale this down the edge ones. So select this one and make it 50 or maybe 60. Okay, so that's great. You can also control the thickness of this line so go to call out line thickness go here just gonna make it two which is great okay now you can delete this footage here come back to your main footage now keep in mind we have tracked this call out on the two second mark okay so we have to come in the two second mark exactly just use this timer and once you come to this point just select this layer and slide it to its exact location once you do that and we will see the tracking will perfect okay that's how you use multiple callouts in same footage now next i will show you how to increase the duration of the callout and after that i will show you how to duplicate any callout as as many times as you want now let's see how to increase the duration Let's set this one. Uh, now, as you can see, this column is 15 seconds long. Okay, and the animation out is happening because of this. You can just shift it, or you can turn it off the animation out layer, and it will not animate out. Because some people want to stay this call out longer, uh, depending on their project. So, if you want more than 15 seconds. So here is the tip, 
let's go to composition and go to composition settings and as you can see this composition is set to 15 seconds you can increase this one let's say I want this for one minute long to happen okay it's okay and you can just press minus button on your keyboard just zoom out and then you need to do just click in this unsigned button so all the hidden layers will be revealed and just unlock them that's it now control all on your keyboard to select all of this layer at once and just drag them to the end like that make sure it's filled up properly now you can size this again now as you can see the call out will be hold for one minute now if you want the animation out in a particular point so turn on that and hit you on your keyboard you can and you can always track this at any point you want let's say at 55 seconds after that it will be glitched out now let's see how to duplicate any particular callout some people want same type of callout multiple times maybe five or six times so let's see how to do that let's take this one okay so right click here and review in project you need to find this inside this project window which is the callout 15 style 1 we need to duplicate this layer so control d on your keyboard and it will be duplicated okay now as you can see this is renamed style 5 so we need to change this a bit so this is a copy of this style 1 so it will be better if you rename this one to 1.1 1 .1, okay and if you want to duplicate again that that rename it 1.2 1.3 if you are duplicating this one so rename it 3.1 3.2 so on so that you can easily understand what's going on here okay and one more thing if you duplicate that it will not come in here so you cannot find from here you always need to come in this final comp and find by yourself okay so once you duplicate it it's not done yet you just need to open this composition in here now we need to replace this text okay there is only one text but some color will have two text some color will have images so you need to replace all of the placeholders otherwise if you change this color text then this color text will also be changed and you cannot use both of them at once okay so i'm inside of 1.1 and i need to replace this text so to do that right click in this text and label in project as you can see this text is belong to this style one so we need to duplicate this folder and rename it same as I did before that's it now this text is absolutely brand new to replace this text with this old one just select this text just hold alt on your keyboard and drag it to this old composition and that will be replaced with the new ones now you can use both of them at once so in the same way you can duplicate any of this call out as many time you want just follow the same procedure and it should be good to go now it's time for some quick tips to change the color colors and some adjustment you need to select this control layer and from uh, from the effects control you will have the, all of these possible changes you can control the text position okay also the scale to change the text color you need to go inside this text composition and select the text and you can change this from the character tab and then you can also change the stroke color you can also change the line color as you want as well as the dot color you can control the uh, line thickness as well as the dot scales and you can all of these lines by clicking on this checkbox icon I hope that video helped. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.